In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make sure that our zoom in works accordingly, as you can see here, but also how we can reset it. So there we are, we're going to put it back, and then we zoom here again, and then put it back, there we are. So let's start to look how we can do this. So now what we want to do is we want to have a reset button. Right now we have two items I want to solve. First of all, we have this, how do we reset? Secondly, if I select this and then go up here, as you can see, nothing happens. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that even if we do it like this, but then above here, it should be triggered. And of course, we're going to have a simple button here. I will make a very simple button for that, but I have other videos I'm going to show you later on if you want to have a fancy button on the chart. So first thing, let's create the basic button here. So in here, what I'm going to do is here, I'll just say a function and then we say reset. And then I realize I need to make sure I have a button. So I go all the way up here and just say here a button. Oh, not like that, but let's say button. All right, and then we say on click, this will be equal to reset. There we are. I say reset button or reset chart, anything you want. So once we trigger this, I'm going to scroll down again all to the bottom. And then here in the reset, what I want to do is basically this. Let's go up here to have understanding. Uh, where are the options here? This is the options. We have here this item here. Basically, I want to reset it back to its original value, whatever the value would be. And that's this one here within the X scales. So I'm going to say here, you can say my chart, and I would say a dot um, config dot uh, options dot scales dot X dot min equals and whatever the value would be. So in this case, it would be date arrays. I'm just going to grab this and say zero. That's the starting point. Then, of course, we have another one for the max value. Put it here, max, and then we're going to say your date array will be based on whatever the length is of the item. So what I will do is, I'll say your constant length, very simple, and all I do is here, my chart, dot, um, uh, we can say here the data, dot, data sets, index, zero, dot, data, index zero dot x so basically the very first item oh sorry not even like that i want to have here the length that makes more sense and i realize the date array i'm not even allowed to use why the date array is within this functionality so my bad we're just going to grab this put that in here put this one in here eventually but here we need to have the number seven or whatever the value would be so what i want to say here dot length and we should get automatically the right item so i'm going to grab this put that in here and then once i did this enter i'm going to say here my chart dot update and just update the chart for that save this refresh all right let's zoom in click on reset all right interesting it doesn't work um let's see of reading x fair enough so we have here the data data sets and then here index x so what is exactly the issue here 526 data of length ah all right so the reason why is the length is plus one so i need to do here minus one because we with an array we calculate with a zero base calculation so it should be minus one here now we should have a working model. All right, interesting. Let me double check. All right, so after some checking, I just made a very rookie mistake. Of course, if you want the array, you must not get the single value of the array. Remove that, make sure you have it like this. And then deduct that that should now have a nice response. All right, click on this, there we are. Beautiful. So now this works nicely, but what I want to do next is this one here. Luckily, this is a quick fix. So all we have to do here is, uh, let's see here, the canvas. This one, I want to convert. So why? So I don't have to convert it to window. And the reason why is this, and that, that is the reason why it was hanging, is because when we are outside of the canvas and we let go, it will not trigger. Now, 
it will keep on going and when we let go here even above it will trigger it so that is the only thing we had to do then reset it and there we are so of course we have still i realize that we have still a few items here that we need to solve but that is slightly a uh, later concern for me what i do want to notify here maybe you say here this button here that looks absolutely horrible in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here how to create a html button in the canvas in chart.js which also shows a reset button in the corner only when it's zoomed in i will avoid that for now in in this video series because it's a quite extensive video but if you want to know that watch this video here as well so now we have this the only thing here i need to just double check here is why is this item not resetting as expected so if i do this here this will work but if i click here that's interesting so i'll have to double check this what's going on here so we will cover this in the next video or that specific weird behavior in the next video